Hey everybody, this is Angelo with Angelo's Workbench. This week, we are applying the decals to the Firebird 400s and some coats of clear. Stay with me. Don't forget to follow the link in the description to support Hobby Nut Models and Angelo's Workbench. So we are now about to get started on the decal work, and one of the great things about building the same kit twice is you have two decal sheets, right? So if for whatever reason, and I'm building it two different ways, two totally different ways. So if for whatever reason uh, I mess up on this bird, um, I've got another one. Or if I mess up on some stripes, I've got another one. I've got a backup set. So that's going to be great. So we're going to, um, and there are, as is true, with most recent Ravel issues, uh, there are a literal ton of decals. There is a decal for every single emblem on the car. There's even a decal for the air vents. There's a decal for the door lock cylinder. Um, so we are going to just be applying all of the decals now. I'm not going to apply them all on camera. I will apply a, a smattering of them. Definitely this big bird is going on on camera. Um, but, uh, <clears throat> and then if I make a mistake on the bird, hey, I've got an extra one, right? So, uh, so we'll go through the decals. We'll get that done. That's the only stage that's going on here. Decals. Then from here, there will be another coat, two more coats of clear coat, probably, uh, two to three to, uh, seal in the decals. Then I will do my chrome trim. And then we've got to get paint, painting all the other parts that are over here, all the, the engines, the interiors, the chassis, uh, so that we can move forward with this wonderful double build of the 400s. So let's get started on the decals. And now we are getting to the decals. Um, and I'm doing the drag car first, and I'm doing this bird first because I have been excited about putting this bird on this car since I got these kits, since I saw these kits and saw this bird on the box art. I'm like, that is sweet. And one of the reasons I really wanted to build the drag car um, was this bird. These are cool. So, and it's also why I chose the paint scheme I chose to coordinate with the, with the color of the decal. Um, so there we go. So this is going to get applied now. So what have I done? So the clear coat has been applied just one layer, just to protect the water-based paint from the water slide decals. And this is cleared and uh, cured. It's been a couple of days. This is looking good. It's ready to go. My water, I have changed my water out. I change my water every kit because the water gets funky, contaminated, cloudy, and it's got stuff in it, and it just it makes everything stick to your fingers. Nice fresh water, every kit, every time you'll thank me. You know, it's water, you know, very easy to do. So, um, the other thing you'll notice, I've trimmed the decals, but I've also trimmed away, if you look here, all of the numbers. These little numbers are the worst thing ever. If they get stuck onto the car or stuck onto the decal, they do not come off. I don't know what the decal is for those numbers that is different than this, but those numbers, if they get stuck to something or somewhere that you don't want them and that's where they always get stuck, they do not come off. So I cut the numbers off. I do not put the numbers anywhere near the kit. I don't dip a decal with the numbers if I can help it, unless I know that there's no way that it will be a factor. So, so we're gonna get started here. So I have the bird decals. So they are going on. So I am going to be marking them on these instructions because there are so many decals and I don't wanna forget any. So I've got here decal number 29. So I'm just gonna make a little, I'm just gonna X that out. I've got decal 30, which is right there. And they even tell you the order to put them in. One, two, three, so you can line them up. You gotta do the hood first, without a doubt. And then decal 28. And then there also is the little piece that is supposed to go somewhere. Is that only if you use the bird on the stock one? Okay, so now that's interesting. So they have not given you the instructions for the tail of the bird. Okay, that's interesting. So I was assuming that the tail of the bird went right there, the back of the hood behind the blower. Um, because there is a separate little piece of the bird. And it looks like it would fit, you know, right there very easily. I think it does go there. I think they just forgot to mention it in the instructions right there. They forgot it. Because I don't see that decal anywhere else on this car. 
Because where else would it go? It's got to be for the bird. It's not for the stock version. Oh, I see what it is. Okay. So, if you put this decal on the stock version, there's a hole here for the blower. And on the stock version, you need to plug that hole, and it's with that decal. But again, oh, they do have it on the instructions. There it is. So that's the that's the solution to that mystery. That decal goes in that tail on the stock version. So then that decal is not necessary for our application because we are doing the drag car. However, I am wondering if that wouldn't look cool back there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the bird on here. And I'm going to get the fenders on. And we're going to set that one aside for now. And then after we get the bird on here and everything looking good, we'll just kind of line that up and see if maybe it would look good back there. Hey, if it'll look good back there, this is my model. I could stick it on there if I want. So we'll see what happens. So we're gonna, I'm gonna get this decal uh, into the water, get it uh, percolating and ready to come off of the transfer paper. Revell decals are usually very, very good, very quick, very easy. I might snip these and do them in three separate pieces uh, at three separate dips. But uh, so let's get started putting the decals on. Okay, so this is ready now. It's been, these decals actually took a little bit longer in the water than uh, recent Ravel decals have. So, uh, so one of the first things I'm going to do is, I don't have a lot of complex contours here, but there's some. So I'm going to use the Mark Fit Regular. I have the Mark Fit Regular and the Mark Fit Strong here at the ready. And you can use Microsol, whatever decal solution works for you. I just, I like this stuff, but I like to have a little bit of something on the car, um, so that the decal can slide. And even if you're just using water, put something on the car so that the decal can slide around for a little bit. This would be similar to putting vinyl on a full-size vehicle using the wet application method. It makes everything a little bit easier. And so I've got a nice positive mounting location for the decal because it goes right around this hole and then obviously lines up with the edges. Oh, wow, that looks good. So, uh, so I'm just going to give a little bit more mark fit on here. Let this decal kind of soften a little bit. And we're going to, because then I'll get the decal to curl around that edge very nicely. And I'm going to start from the middle and work my way out on both sides. Because that's just good decal application practice. And I've got my tweezers and my toothpick and everything handy in case I need it. But right now, what I need is this Q-tip. So I'm going to start with this center section. I'm going to just kind of... Just kind of move it. And it's staying in place well. If it wasn't staying in place well, I could roll the Q-tip. That's a good technique. Roll. If the decal is moving. This one is not moving. So we're doing pretty well here. And, uh, and this is a big decal, and it's very prominently placed right on the hood. So you want to make sure you get this one right. And I can see my paint line through the decal slightly, which isn't a huge concern. But I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't get the, uh, I didn't miss the decal line by much. My paint line is near the decal. So I'm just going to get another couple of Q-tips here. Go through a lot of Q-tips and keep those, keep those handy. There we go. This is coming out very well. There we go. I like this decal. This decal is awesome. There we go. And now the decal has softened up to where I can just kind of roll it over the edge of the hood. Don't pull too hard. There we go. And now I can come in with, I've done enough uh, Q-tip work here. I can come in with a little bit of paper towel. Oh, that looks great. The um, red that I have selected almost matches that decal perfectly, which is exactly what I wanted. That's pretty sweet. That is a good-looking bird on there. So, 
Now, this decal needs to go in the dehydrator for about 10 minutes. And this will bake this right down on there. It'll settle all the uh, Mark Fit decal solution out from behind the decal. And then this can cure for a couple of days and we'll be ready for clear coat. But what we need this for now, and I'm going to put it in the dehydrator a little bit first because I've got time. Um, we need to be able to line up our side fender decals so that they match up exactly with the placement of this bird. The side edge right here is going to be a little bit of a pain in the rump. I can see that already because it's right on the edge. They didn't make the decal big enough so that some of the decal would wrap around. I've only got a sliver, so I'm going to do one or two things. I'm going to let it cure fully and I'm going to trim that edge or I'm going to let it cure fully and I'm going to run a bead of just some clear coat along the side with a little toothpick and seal that down so that it does not move. Now, it'll get locked in when I clear coat the car, but between now and then, every time I put this hood on and off, it's going to pop that decal up, and I do not want that. Because sooner or later, that decal will crack, and it'll break, and some of it might come onto the hood, and that'll be a problem, and I won't like it. But, you know what the nice thing is about doing two kits, and each one differently, I have two of these birds. I have a backup bird, just in case, as I said already. So, I'm going to pop that in the dehydrator. We're going to let that chill, and uh, we're going to move on. Well, the hood has come out of the dehydrator, and happily, the edges of the decal aren't popping up anymore, so that's a good thing. So, uh, I'm just going to get a little mark fit going here. I'm going to do this side first. And the decal is sliding nicely. Little decals, I'll peel them off of the paper, and then... Um, apply them to the model with the, with the tweezers, but the bigger decals, I like the slide method. I think most model builders do, um, because it just keeps it nice and easy. So now we just need to get this straight and lined up, of course, with the hood decal, but I want to give it a little bit of room. because I don't want it to be bumping up against the hood decal because that will just cause trouble later. All right, so that looks good. So now I'm just gonna kinda get in here with the Q-tip to do a little bit of drying. And I'm gonna start at the front and work my way to the back. I got a wrinkle in the decal right there. Oh, there it goes, nice. The decal solution is wonderful. It softens the decal just a little bit. You'll notice I'm leaving the hood on while I'm doing this because I don't want to pop the hood up while the decal is fresh. So that looks pretty good. I actually think I need to move that decal a little bit. So now what I need to do is I need to get some of the mark fit underneath the decal so that I can slide it without tearing it. There we go, that should do it. Because it needed to go just a little bit further up like that. There we go, I want it straight. I think it might have moved a little while I was Q-tipping it. Little decals have a tendency to do that. This is a smaller decal than that big bird was. So I'm gonna roll the Q-tip. Roll the Q-tip, there we go. There we go. Whoa. I knew that was gonna do that. There we go. That looks pretty good. So now let's get that other one going. We'll get a little mark fit on the applicator brush here. Just to make sure that the decal has a little bit of room to wiggle. Ooh. So my decal, oh, 
Oh, there it goes. I thought that it had cured to the paper. I was going to re-dip that. It was a little dry. That was close. All right, so now here we go. Oh, look at it slide on there very nicely. Almost, uh, it almost just landed in exactly the right place. There we go. And so we got to get rid of some of this water. There's a lot of water on this decal. And we need to move over just a little bit. There we go. Nice straight line with the hood decal. And I'm just going to roll this Q-tip in here. And the ends are in the same exact place. That looks good. That's the biggest challenge when you're doing symmetrical decals, one on each side of the car. Um, where it gets a little more challenging is if the decals are on the sides and they meet up together somewhere. That gets really challenging. This one is a little bit easier because you can see them both at the same time. You're not going like this and then like this and like this and like this. So this looks good. Yeah, that looks... That looks outstanding and so now if I just kind of pop this hood off here and set that aside and take a look at this decal I don't want to mess with it too much with the hood off because I don't want to take the chance of moving the decal and not knowing it so we're just gonna pop this back in place just to do a little check that's going to be beautiful. And I was looking at this little piece that I had mentioned earlier. And I think it would look a little wonky because there's no, um, there's no like white on the side of it, only the back. I think it would look a little silly back there. So he's not going on. So, so that's that. So the hood decal is on. I'm going to pop this in the dehydrator and let it dehydrate for a little minute. Uh, and then we'll do a final check of it, and then I'll move on to some other decals. One other thing I like to do in between steps is you always end up cutting your decals on your work surface. The same work surface where you're applying water. If there's any water left from the last time you put some decals on, guess what happens? Your decal sheet gets soaked, and then you have an issue. So, so what I'm going to do is I just want to kind of uh, segregate some of these decals. So I know I'm not using any of these black stripes because I opted for the bird, of course. Um, so I'm going to put those black stripes aside. So I'm kind of just looking for what I'm going to need. Um, so I know I'm going to need um, these tire decals and I think the interior ones, but I'm focused on just the body for right now. So I know I'm going to need these vents that go on the side, which are very cool. Now, I don't know how much I'll see them because they are silver and the side of the car is silver, but I'm going to put them on anyway because I know they're there. Uh, and then I'm also thinking about, um, so some of the decals that get applied on the chrome parts uh, and stuff that goes on the bumper, I'm not going to worry about. I'm only working worrying about stuff that goes onto the body at this moment. So I've got uh, here in the back of the car, 17, 19, 21, and 22. I'm gonna cut those out. Um, I've got the lock cylinders for the side. I've got a whole bunch of logos here. I'm gonna cut all of these out and get them ready to go and kind of organize them uh, so that I know what I'm working with to put on the body. The other thing, the thing I wanted to mention at this point is I've got these really cool stripes and they go down on the bottom on the stock one they go kind of like across and down the center of the car and i don't have um there are no decals called out for the side of the car on the drag car but um you know i think that some of those stripes might look really cool on here so the side of the car is going to be largely blank and it has this big beautiful bird why not have something on the side so i was just kind of looking and seeing what colors i thought would look good 
on this car to put the HO stripe down the side. And I'm kind of settling on the red because it kind of will pull in the red from the top. So I'm thinking that even though the decals don't call for it, hey, this is my model car. I am going to put those on. So I'm going to cut those out and I'm going to stick those on. I think I'm going to, like I said, I think I'm going to use the red because I think that would look better than the black or the white. Um, I think that as an alternative, I could use the black, but there isn't really any black on the car. There's a little bit of some kind of a dark color in with the bird. I think that's more like a blue. Um, but this red, even though it's not the same exact identical red, it's pretty close. I think the red would look pretty sweet on the side. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut that out. I'm going to stick these on the car and we'll come back. We'll take a look at how this goes. We'll be back. Okay, the drag decals, <clears throat> the drag car decals are done. Um, and I've got the red stripe on there. We've got the logos, the lock cylinders. I've got the um, the stripe down the side that I liked. Everything's looking good. Put the hood on. It looks amazing. I am liking it. So this is ready for clear coat. It's going to go in the dehydrator to cook for a while. Um, I'll let it cure for a couple of days. And then I'll go for, well, maybe a day. And then I'll go for my next coat of 2K clear. I'll clean any um, leftover uh, decal solvent off of the car. And I'll go from there. Now I want to talk about this Pontiac back here, right? So the decal from Ravel is the wrong size. Uh, it does not match the very prominently raised letters. So I would suggest one of two things. The 400 is okay. The 400 looks good. So I would suggest a few different options. If you're going to, if you just want to use the decal, sand these babies off. Get rid of it, put the decal on there, you're done, everything's good. Or do it the old fashioned way, paint those letters, right? You can dry brush them, you can paint them with silver paint, whatever, you can do it. Or what I did, I discovered it after I had the decal set solution on, so I'm really amazed that I was able to pull this off. I separated the letters and applied them individually and I think they came out okay. Like, I'm going to roll with it. It looks okay. There's still decal setting solution on there. They're still settling down a little bit. A little, a few minutes in the dehydrator and that'll settle right in. Um, and then I'll shoot clear over them and they'll be protected. But those are your options because the way the decal sheet comes from Ravel, if you just put it on, it doesn't look right because the raised letters are so prominent. And you'll see here, there is the letters. And I didn't notice it before I started it. There's the letters and there's the Pontiac. And you can see if I line up those P's, look at how short that C is. Like it's off by quite a bit. Um, and these are so prominently displayed on the body. Like they're so raised up. They would be very easy to paint and have look really good. Um, so that could be a, that could be a good option. But if you just want to use the decal, that's cool. Sand those bad boys off. So... There's uh, there's my suggestion, and uh, now I'm going to decal the green one. I'll bring you back when this is done. We'll take a look at how it comes out. Then everything is going to cure for a day or so, and then clear coat will be next. Well, I have finished both cars. The uh, decals are applied. You see that little hood tack now. The emblems are done. I did a stripe down the side. I kind of like the black on there with the H-O on there. Looks good. Looks good. Um, the fender emblems, the tail section emblems. These letters are done individually, just like on the other car. The big, beautiful bird. That's pretty awesome. So this is, uh, this is ready to go. And uh, these are going to get clear coated with another couple layers of clear coat. And while that is happening, uh, we'll move on to the other parts. So stick around, lots coming up with these Firebirds. And here's a shot after a couple of layers of clear coat have been applied. They came out fantastic. The decals look great. They handled the clear coat just fine. They uh, gassed out for two days before I uh, sprayed the clear coat on and, uh, and came out really good. So that's going to wrap it up for this week. Go ahead and like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to check out the link in the description to support Hobby Nut Models and Angelo's Workbench. They've got great stuff over there. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram all under the name Angelo's Workbench. Next week, we're going to get to work on polishing these, putting the chrome trim on, and then the other sea of parts that need to be prepared. I look forward to seeing you all then.